This is my intro song because all the songs in the world are copyrighted. And this is my page. It's called Out of Range. And here's my ugly face. And I gotta go. That's my song. Ten-minute morning video. Oh, good morning, guys. Oh, it's day 14. It's been two weeks. And, uh, it is fucking cold. I just got up to stoke the fire and, uh, take a picture outside. I burnt so much firewood last night. I was waking up every hour and a half, two hours, and filling the stove right up. And it was still a little chilly. The floor is unbelievably cold. I just now grabbed my water bottle to take a drink. And this is what that looks like. <sighs> Hope you guys can see. That's my water bottle. It froze solid on the floor last night. She's fucking chilly. I think if there's a winter adventure 2024 or 5 or whatever, we're definitely going to invest in insulating this floor. Because it's fucking cold. Like, just put my arm here, it's cold. And up here is fucking 32 degrees. Either that or one of those little fans that, that you put on the stove that kind of, you know, the little fans that move air around, that might help. <coughs> Anyways, uh, I don't want to go fishing this morning. I don't want to go outside this morning. <laughs> the sun's out though, so if this, uh, once the sun hits this fucking area and uh, if there's no wind, it should be all but the last thing I want to do is dip my hand in a fucking minnow bucket or in a fucking a hole in the lake because uh, it's fucking cold and I don't want to. So we'll do some shit around here. Oh my god. I'm still full from last night. I ate that whole roast. Um, yeah. If you didn't watch the last episode, I had uh, a deer roast in Far Valley last night before bed. The roast was so tender. It was like I could just scrape it with a fork and it would just fall apart. And it was juicy and delicious. But we knew that would happen because of the old Dutch oven. <sighs> okay, well, I better get the fucking day started soon. And, uh... I better close the key on that stove before it hits a thousand degrees up there. Okay, I'm gonna make coffee. Hopefully uh, all my waters are fucking frozen. And, uh, we'll think of something to do. Okay, let's go. There's definitely ice forming in here. Back Pulled everything from out of under the bed. I have beers, I have a cooler with a fucking, you know, potatoes and stuff. Pulled everything from out of under the bed, let it fucking thaw a little bit. Fucking cold, guys.
we had a fox uh, discover our gut pile last night. He ate himself a fucking pickle carcass and a rabbit carcass. Uh, uh, what's weird is uh, I put the pelt on the snowmobile sleigh overnight and he came about this far and right there but didn't go for the pelt you probably hear my fucking snoring and going what the fuck is that beast <laughs> all right we have a fox It'd be cool to fucking befriend him uh, i'll show you the uh i'll show you a close-up of the track so you can see that uh, it's a fox. When I first seen them, I'm like, oh, fuck, the coyotes are here. But it's just a fox. Okay, I'm going to go, uh, I'm going to go put a line uh, right here that's close. Now that the sun's out, it's not too bad. We'll go drop that line while we, uh, fuck around here. Okay. So as far as I can tell here, guys, he came from the cats. Or along the river, it looks like. Doesn't look like it goes up. But anyways, he came from there. Sniffed around this hole. Went up the trail. Caught the scent. Went around. Found the guts. And then he fucked all the way down. You could see tracks way down towards the hut there. So probably went and checked those other holes. Anything with a scent, right? <laughs> looks like he was passing through, though. Probably not going to... Probably not going to befriend him. <clears throat> All right, guys. The sun's going away. Uh, we're going to go check... Uh, we're going to go check our snares. We got one just in that far bay over there and I think another one halfway to where we put those two first ones we'll check ah fuck we'll check all three we'll check all three ass ride guys I don't see any fresh tracks and set number one is set number one is I always have a hard time seeing this one Oh yeah, it's been moved. Fuck. Where has it? Oh no. No, it hasn't been moved. Okay. I put it on an angle like that because I figured the bunny would be coming up uphill or downhill. Okay, first one's unsuccessful. Just on our way to the second one in here and uh Looks like we have some freshness. We have some freshness. So there's one in here. Just a matter of fucking. Just a matter of getting them, guys. Just a matter of figuring it out. Just figure out his pattern. Figure out where he likes to travel. And uh, kind of lost right now. Oh yeah, this way. I just noticed I have tracks over there, but that's because we walked through the forest, remember? Okay, so set number two is, is set number two is unsuccessful, I believe, because I don't see any tracks. Yes, unsuccessful. Whew, I, uh... I made a lot of noise here when we came and cut some saplings, so 
it might take a few days for this my scent and shit to settle down so but there is a rabbit in the area looks like he jumped up on the rock right there too so eventually he'll use that fucking highway and uh we're gonna get him okay one more to check the last one is close to where we got the rabbit yesterday so it's very it's quite possible that that was that was the same rabbit you know so uh, I'm not that confident in it but we'll check it every couple days and uh, we'll check it every couple days and see if there's any fresh like right now we know there's a rabbit here because that's from last night so we know to stay in this area coming up on the third and last set looks like that highway coming down the mountain hasn't been used and the highway where my snare has not been used I'm pretty confident that this is the same rabbit that we caught up in the, on the other side we walked up and uh, so we might already have this guy but like I said we'll leave it for a few days and just uh, if we see anything fresh pop up we'll know he's still around okay let's head back oh well, yeah we're gonna uh, we're gonna go uh, back to the cabin we're gonna work on uh, Paiuca it's just good to keep practicing and, and uh, getting better at it because uh, if you're ever in a situation where you need it like if you're ever on the show alone you can make one quite easily and uh, you know, catch some critters you can get uh, uh, you can get uh, mice squirrels chipmunks and even a rabbit if you have a big enough uh, rock so uh, okay let's head back and uh, we'll start carving up some twigs all right guys it's a fucking cold windy miserable fucking day but uh, we're gonna make do uh, we're gonna build a Paiute deadfall trap today, which is basically a trap where you use a rock with a trigger mechanism and some bait. And once it's triggered, you crush, uh, you know, mice, rabbits, squirrels. Um, this rock here probably heavy enough to kill a squirrel or a, a mouse. Um, if you wanted anything bigger than that, you need a bigger rock, and it's basically it would be the same fucking thing, just on a bigger scale. So the first thing we're going to work on is uh, the stick. There's there's uh, one, two, there's three pieces of uh, of uh, stick, I guess you could call it branch, that we're going to use, and a piece of rope, and uh, that'll be it, and a bait stick. So four pieces. So we're going to start with this one. Um, I've already cut it kind of on a 45. This is going to be the first stick. This is what's going to hold the rock up. Okay. Now the next step is we need to carve a seven in here, or uh, I think it's called a bird's beak. But uh, yeah, we're going to carve a seven in here so that it can accept another twig here, and we're going to notch it a little bit here to tie a rope to. So I'm actually thinking I'm going to cut this down a little bit. It's a little bit long, and then uh, I'll get to carving. saying I'm gonna carve a little bit of a notch here to hold a rope properly so I'm just gonna go all the way around make a notch I could use my saw for this which would be a lot cooler on my hands but you don't always have a saw in the bush right you don't always have a knife either but your chances of you having a knife are stronger than a saw I believe most people go in the bush with a knife continue carving this notch all the way around here just so that the, uh, the string that we tied to it doesn't slip okay but I'm gonna do it inside because it's fucking minus 30 all right guys uh, I got that carved out the next step is the uh, the seven we're gonna carve a seven here 
So I just cheated and used the saw here, but you could carve that out with a knife, okay? I'm just trying to speed things up because it's fucking cold. See all this. Okay, I see it taking shape. Okay guys, there's our first piece. This is what's gonna hold the rock up, okay? Now, the next thing we need is uh, another piece of stick that's gonna sit on the ground. Now, this one here, we definitely want a 45 here because this one is gonna sit inside of this trigger here, okay? So I'm just gonna use my ax real quick and see if I can... Uh, Oh my god, everything is so cold in my hands. Uh, this has a knot in it, but it doesn't matter. Just clean it up a bit. Got this 45. Let's see how well it sits. It's not bad, guys. It's not too bad. Uh, I'm thinking this here's got to be a little deeper. We're gonna carve this a little bit more, just so it sits a little bit better. Okay. Okay. Okay, guys. That's a nice fit here. So now we got to figure out how high we want this on the rock. So you guys can see. Basically, this is what's holding the rock up. Okay, and this trigger point is going to sit here, okay? So we want the right height, I'm thinking about here, about here, we'll cut that and uh, See how that fits. Okay, so we cut it to length. Now this is what we have here. Okay. Now basically, it's starting to take shape. So this will hold the rock up. This is our trigger. Something like that. If I can just get it to sit properly. What you want to do is find the right balance spot on your rock. Now never put your hand under the rock when you're fucking around because you'll bust your knuckles. So basically that's it right there. Okay. Ooh, see? Now what we want to do next is create a trigger system using a piece of rope. A piece of rope going around this toggle to another little piece of twig and a bait stick. So the next thing we're going to do is tie a rope to this. Okay. No need for fancy knots on this, guys. Overhand works just fucking fine. You can do it 
do a fancy knot if you want, but there's no point. Okay. There we go, guys. All right, the next component we need is a small toggle, which is basically, uh, well, I'll show you. So we just use any stick here. Uh, this is Now the other end of the rope is going to get tied to this so I'm going to groove, I'm going to put another groove. You don't have to put a groove, I'm just putting a groove that way we can reuse this, this trap over and over and over again once we build it, okay? And uh, I want it to last. Okay, so now in order to know where to tie this toggle, we're going to use our rock to figure it out. And again guys, do not... Don't put your uh, hand underneath the rock when you're fucking around, because you will bust your knuckles. And on a cold day like today, it's not gonna feel good. Right about there. Okay. So we're gonna want our toggle to be This is real hard to do without busting knuckles. Right about here. Okay. So this is where we want it exiting the toggle. So right about there. Now this might take a couple of tries to get it just right. But uh, that's basically the next step. Okay. Now let's Let's see if that's the right fucking end here. Probably. Whew, come on now. Getting on my nerves. There. I think I got it this time, guys. Okay. Now the trigger should be able to. Watch the knucks. Okay, so this needs to be a little... Oh, no, I got it. I got it. Okay. So now I'm holding on to this trigger here. Whoa! I didn't hold on good enough. Now, I was holding it on with my finger. The next step is your bait stick. And the bait stick, basically, you know how the toggle wants to fly that way? So you put a bait stick, you put a smaller stick from there to the rock. And then as soon as they disturb that stick, the toggle lets go and the trap comes down. Okay? I hope that all made sense. I'm going to uh, measure out a bait stick and, uh, and then uh, you guys will see. put my foot under it so it doesn't crush me we're just gonna measure the length of the bait stick that we want and it's gonna be this long this is how long we want it so I'm gonna cut that
that upside down. Idiot. Idiot. Okay. Put my boot under there. So good. This stick is way too long. It's way too long. Okay, we gotta cut this. God damn it. about finding that right center of gravity here. Something like that. This is getting annoying. Let's find a nice sweet spot here. Put my foot there. That seems about right. Whoa. I can feel that if I let go though, it's gonna fucking go. See, it's about to. I don't know why this wants to twist like that. Oh shit, we got her. Am I filming? Oh yay! <laughs> All right, we fucking got her. So that took a whole lot of tries, but uh, we got her. Now basically, uh, what you do is, this is your bait stick, so you could put something on it like a jab of fucking jab a piece of meat on it if i was doing mice right now i would just spread some peanut butter on that stick and uh it won't take much to set it off oh. let me just let me just figure it out here hold on let me just figure it out so i'm gonna set it off but i'm also taking a tick tock at the same time <laughs> okay so then your squirrel comes and let's say there's a little bit of peanut butter right there. That squirrel is fucking dead. So that's that. Now, let's con let's practice setting it up a couple of times because that took a while, right? Now let's say I got myself a mouse and I want to get another one. So we would start over. Quite, not quite. Right about there, bait stick. Whoa, I'm gonna crush my hand. What do I do with the bait stick? Oh. <laughs> she wants to let go. She wants to twist. She wants to twist. <gasps> she twisted. An attempt. We got her. Oh. So that took me two tries. And basically, guys, that is the Paiute deadfall. Okay guys, before I go in and warm the fuck up, I, my fingers are frozen from farting around with that. Paiute deadfall, just remember that uh, you need uh, your main stick with a seven notch and a rope 
attached to a toggle. And then a 45. This goes on the ground. Your rock sits on here. You can give this a 45 here. I had a 45, but it was a little long and I cut it and forgot to cut the 45. And it still worked without it. And then, uh, like I said, you need your toggle to go around. Like so. And then your bait stick. I flattened it so it was easier to set from here. And then you find a nice spot in the rock. And then as soon as a mouse or whatever starts fucking with the peanut, the peanut butter or whatever, a piece of meat, this lets go of the toggle and the rock falls. Okay, I'm going in. Fuck this shit. Okay, guys, I've been inside for like 20 minutes and I still got a chill in my spine. I don't want to get the fire rocking and waste firewood because I'm all dressed up, so we're just going to have to tough it up. Um, but we're going to try and stay busy in indoors a little bit because it's fucking horrible out there. The wind is howling. I don't know if you can hear it right now, but it is fucking howling. So two things we can check up on. Uh, one is the wine. The wine is... Uh, the wine is almost done, guys. The the um, This red one here is still bubbling. You could tell by the top. But that apple cider is just about done. I don't see much happening in there. We might have to bottle that up tomorrow. Um, there's a little, oh, there's a bubble going up. But there ain't much going on there, guys. So it seems like the cider, maybe we'll bottle that up tomorrow. And uh, man, this bat the battery for this is on the floor under the bed and it's frozen, so it's kind of weak right now. It's so cold. Um, but yeah, we have this uh, rabbit fur here. Uh, we salted it yesterday. We let it sit indoors. It's starting to harden. I left it outside all night and uh, it's pretty fucking dry already. But what we're going to do, just to be safe because we don't want any grossness, you could see all the fucking salt. This is pointing at my fucking nose, isn't it? You could see all the salt here. What I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to wet it again and we're going to get the salt to kind of dissolve and uh really get into that fucking meat even though it's dry now but we're gonna re-soak it kind of and get that dissolved salt into uh into it okay so that's what i'm working on all right i have made an executive decision it's about uh dad jokes fuck this shit o'clock i don't want to be out there anymore so uh we're gonna get drunk i'm gonna get drunk and uh, we'll make some fucking bannock, some fry breads, and we'll uh, try to uh, make a little fucking bread loaf in the, uh, we'll make a bread loaf in the fucking tomato can oven that we made, a cake in, that didn't quite work out. But yeah, let's fucking stay indoors and fucking, it's day 14, man, I could fucking celebrate. Should we do whiskey or vodka? We have a little bit more vodka than we do whiskeys. I'm gonna try and finish them at the same time. Wow, it's dusty. I'm gonna do a wrap around. A wrap around. I'm gonna lose the fucking roof on this place, guys. Oh, I might even put one of my big fat ice cubes in there. I'm gonna make this drink. And then I'm going to uh, get all the ingredients for fry bread, and then uh, that's what we're going to do. All right, I'm going to run out and uh, zip up the door on that tent before it fucking gets ripped right off. Um, I just checked the weather network. The wind is from the south, directly from the south. Directly from the south for uh, the rest of the day, gusting to 50 and 60 kilometers an hour, so... Uh, it's not good. And um, the good news is, is uh, by midnight, it's supposed to turn from the west. And uh, we have a fucking... The, the wind should go right over us after tonight. It's supposed to be about minus 30 tonight, so... That's a good thing that the wind will not be blowing through the door right now. Like, this, this, the ceiling is like doing a balloon when the gusts come up. Anyways, I'm going to jump on a snowmobile, fly across, shut that down. Hope it's not ripped already. And then we'll come back and make bannock. <laughs> it moved over about 
three, four feet. I'm guessing I could just zip this shot right. Chef Denis. Chef Denis. Today we are uh, going to make some fry bread. We're going to fry some in the pan and we're going to attempt to make a small loaf in our tomato can oven fail, cake fail that uh, we made for Kaya's birthday in episode I don't know. I'm pretty sure I have everything I need on the floor here. I got my trusty little fucking notebook. And we're gonna start with flour. Okay, we're gonna start with flour. Now, I don't know why, but I have an original recipe and then I have an altered recipe in pencil and I don't know why, I don't remember what the fuck that's about. But uh, the first recipe said two and a half cups of flour and this new one says two, so we're gonna do two cups of flour. cups in here oh yeah there is there's exactly two fucking cups guys look at that <laughs> this is an old jar I had in my camping shit I decided to empty it cuz jars are fucking handy around here wow that is a lot of bread okay we got flour we're gonna do half a teaspoon of sugar that's not a lot of sugar what's the point what is even the point of that? I don't even have the sugar out, so it doesn't look good. Half a tea. Hold on, we're changing these to one and one. One teaspoon of sugar, one teaspoon of salt. Salt I got. That's enough, right? Salt. Sprinkle it in there. We need two tablespoons of baking powder. I don't know what baking powder is or what it does, but every fucking thing we make needs it. Fucking dumb. I don't think it tastes like anything, right? Ooh. Ooh. Tastes like chemicals. All right. One. I hope I'm using the right fucking spooning thingy. Two. All right, two of those. Three TBSPs. Oh, those are teaspoons. What's the difference between teaspoons and tablespoons? I don't know if that's a B or a P or what the fuck. We're going to up it. Two tablespoons? Is that possible? That's a big fucking difference, man. 
Let's go TBs. Fuck it. What's the worst that could happen? Better to have fucking too much than not enough, right? There. Let's fucking do a TB of that shit. And then three TBs of my leaky oil. TBs of that bullshit. <sighs> Clean up the mess later. And three quarters of a cup of water. I don't know if I have that. We have. Well, we do. The only thing I don't have is the uh, sugar, but I can get some sugar. I'm just gonna have to edit it. I'm edit it. Edit it. Edit it. Edit it. I'm going to spill this on my butt right now. This is not so good. There you are, fucking go. Who says fucking Chef Dane? He don't know what he's doing. And that's fucking it, except for the sugar, guys. Now, uh, I'm going to go get it right now. And there's going to be a little editing thing that's going to go... And I'm back! Like that, okay? Sugar, sugar, where is the sugar? And we're back. One half TSP. What is the point, man? That's just a tiny little. Oh no, one. Still, still one TSP is still not a lot, right? Where's one TSP? One TSP. Fuck, man. How much fucking... How much can that actually alter anything, really? Alright, this is where we get dirty. Now, I remember from the last time we did this in this fucking cabin, it got sticky quick. So I've pre... I've pre-arranged for a wash-up station. Also, while my hands are clean, I'm gonna fucking have a little junky poo. clean-ish hands to uh, make it go. Get it all under our fingernails. Make it gross. I don't know how much you're supposed to work this shit. More fancy editing so that you guys aren't just staring at me fucking playing fucking manic all day. You guys watching this, man? This is working out just fine. A little crumbly though. Is that normal? <laughs> okay, so we're gonna separate this in half because we're gonna make one fry bread in the pan and uh we're gonna make one um, loaf. So, let me just take this apart into two. That could be our loaf. And this could be our. This could be the fry bread. Hey, a few things we did. First thing I did was I brought in a rock. It's on the stove now so that I wouldn't be wet. I'm gonna put a rock inside of the can to keep this from being on the bottom of the can and I made a little boat of aluminum foil for this to sit on so this should sit in the center of the can right and then we'll throw it in the fire now let me put the camera on my head so you guys can see all these step by steps okay okay so I got this hot rock it's gonna go in the bottom of the can 
like so. And we're gonna put our, I just put my glove in the tender flack. There's our little, was oh, that gonna rise and hit the fucking, oh, that rock is hot as shit. There, there. Okay. I hope it doesn't rise too much because it's gonna hit the roof of the can. Now we're gonna shut this. Oh, I can foresee another fucking tin can failure coming up, guys. Okay. Now, this fire shouldn't be fucking roaring too fucking bad. There we go. I'm actually not, I'm actually gonna not even fuck with that too much. As long as the can fits in there. I'd like to pull that back a bit. What can I use? What can I use? I could use a stick. Okay. It's not sitting nice. There, now it's sitting nice. And we're gonna take our can. That rock is hot. Okay, we gotta somehow keep it straight. Okay, like that. Let's try that. I'm gonna close this before it gets too fucking hot. Ow! Close, close. Okay. While we wait for that dumb shit, we're gonna make a fry bread in the pan. Now, I might make two, because this is a large, large, large. That's large. We're just using tender flack again, guys. Let me cut this in half here. I'm gonna make two. Okay. Okay, guys, the uh, GoPro was a cocksucker today. I'm just editing now and I'm noticing that uh, my entire, the entire uh, fry bread cooking, almost the entire thing was recorded in fast forward. So I was able to edit and slow it down, right? I slowed it down, but it's choppy. But it's three minutes long, and now I'm going to watch it on this phone and narrate, and then we'll overlap them, and we'll see if this fucking works. Okay, I'm pressing play. All right, I am uh, going to pour some vodka, and we're going to drink some vodka. And uh, now we're going to put this fucking piece of fry bread in the pan. And uh, this other one here, we're just going to flatten it out and get it ready. And... Uh, yeah, we're flattening stuff out. Fucking GoPro, what a hunk of shit. So we're flattening flatbreads. This is not exciting. And uh, I don't know, we flipped it. Oh, yeah. See all the black shit in there? That's because my hands were dirty. Because <laughs> we put the one in the oven. What do I need here? Oh, we need a little bit of water with the vodka. There we go, vodka water. Yeah, so I was playing with the can oven. The can, I think the can's in the oven right now. I'm not sure. But uh, I was showing how fucking black the shit was because uh, my hands were dirty. All right, now we're going to uh, flip this first piece. It's a little golden brown underneath. It's not bad. And uh, I'm just going to sit down and drink some vodka. Okay, so this first fucking piece of fried bread is almost done. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to say that's done, and we're going to put it on this paper towel here. And, uh, let's put the second one in, and, uh, there we go. We're making two of them now. It smells good, looks good. So far, so good. Um, oh, yeah, looking for pliers. I need pliers. Because I want to check on the loaf that we put in the tin can oven. I have no idea how long it should be in there for. Let's take a look. Oh, it's starting to rise, but it's not ready. Let's push it back in right there. So now, because we burnt the fucking cake, I'm going off script here. Because we burnt that cake, I'm scared to push it in where the actual coals are. So I'm keeping it close to the door. Whoa, fuck, look how golden brown that one is. Fuck yeah, dude. We're making fucking fry breads now. <laughs> this is so stupid. Fucking kill broken. Fucking suck a fucking nut. What a hunk of shit. Every day at the same time, it's been fucking up. Okay, so uh, look at my little pan fucking flipping skills. And uh, this is almost ready. I can't wait to eat this shit. It's going to be delicious. And um, in the meantime, we're going to sit down and we're going to drink. Okay, the second one is fucking done and ready. And uh, 
This is peanut butter that I brought to catch mice, but there's no mice. So let me just cut a corner. Oh, look at that, guys. It's cooked perfectly. Let me put a little peanut butter on it. Um, let me try it. Holy fuck, that's good. That's real good. I'm just going to sit here and eat it. And uh, that'll be that. And fucking, you know, it's just fucking. Let me check the tin can again. How's the tin can doing? Oh, let's take a look. Nope, not ready. Put it back in. Hey, let's take a look. Let's take a look. How's it doing? Let me see. Nope, not ready. Let's put it back in. <laughs> this is getting repetitive. This is a long ass video, guys. I'm sorry. Fuck a GoPro. And uh, I decided to sit down for 15 full minutes. I ate that entire fucking fry bread that I just cut a corner off of. I'm going to end up eating that whole fucking thing while I sit there and drinking vodka and eating fucking bread. Okay? And that's it, guys. Now we should be back to regular speed starting now. Okay, bye. Okay. It's been about five, ten minutes. Guys. Guys, it's absolutely perfect. I know the lighting's not good. It seems a little crumbly. But, uh... It's cooked perfectly. A little bit of butter on there. Mm. Mm. Tin can oven came through finally. Mm. Okay. I'm done filming the inside here. So I'm gonna go kill the Jenny. And uh, hopefully that battery took a good charge because it was not working well earlier. I'm gonna sit here in the semi darkness and drink until I get hungry again and then we're gonna go out well we might not but the plan is to go out start an outdoor fire and cook these pork chops on a fucking on an open flame but uh the wind is fucking howling like the the, the fire's just gonna like it won't I won't get a good base of coals but if the wind starts to turn to the west and we get a little bit of shelter up on that rock that's what we're doing so I'll see you later when we decide how we're cooking pork chops. Totally forgot we still got this fucking rod out here. And a fucking slush hole right there. This must be the river, right? That's all part of the river system. Fishing right in the middle of it. Almost all the snowmobile tracks are gone. It didn't even snow today. So this hole's been here for two days. Or I should say we fished this hole for two days and uh caught absolutely nothing. So we're not fishing here anymore. Oh, thank you for the little lull. The wind is just fucking insane. I feel like... Let me just feel here. Yeah, it's starting to switch. It's starting to switch. It was coming south. Oh, yeah, it's still fucking south. Right? It's still pretty south, guys. If we could switch from the west... Better than coming down the fucking lake. Look at the fucking tent just barely holding on. You guys can probably see that up here. It's so cold. I don't know if the tent's going to make it, guys. It's 
taking a real beating. The weather is so bad. Okay guys, it's fucking 8.30 at night. Um, I've edited all the footage I have so far and it's at 58 minutes. <laughs> so this is the end of the fucking episode. I haven't eaten yet. The storm is still kind of stormy. It's white out, but the wind has shifted from the west. So it's not rocking the cabin. I could hear it hitting the trees, but it's not really rocking the cabin like it was before. So that's good news. Um, uh, the, I'm not going out there. So the pork chop's going to have to be cooked indoors, uh, which sucks because I hate using propane for cooking. But uh, I figure if I just dice them all up and they should fry pretty quickly in the pan and with something else and that'll be fucking dinner uh, i'm also going to go back and edit out more footage but this this episode is going to be pushing close to an hour <laughs> i guess the paiute and the fucking and the fucking bread we made just it took an hour i guess i don't understand but like i said uh, in the last episode it is what it is if you have a short attention span don't watch fuck i'm gonna film what i'm doing and uh, every day I film what I cook and I made bread. So I'm not going to fucking bother with this dinner thing. So having said that, thanks for fucking following along so far. It's two weeks. Tomorrow will be 15 days. And uh, fucking things are going well, man. I'm, I'm glad we're doing some bushcraft shit. The first fucking, the first 10 days we didn't do much bushcraft. And it was firewood, firewood, firewood. The snowmobile really saved us. It gave us a chance to... Uh, have extra hours in the day to do projects um, and there are a lot more coming so stay tuned don't forget to fucking subscribe to the page like the fucking video it all helps in the long run for me okay guys and uh until tomorrow stay fresh cheese bags deuces